met a gypsy. See, I don't really follow like the motor guys, and I feel like that's why it's so hectic. And we actually, Fox took us to Glen Helen the other day to watch oh, the the guys see. on the, the Supercross yep, track. Yep, yep. So we met AC, and like you know, I was just like, I and they were saying we were talking about it on the way over, like, so what are they doing today? And and Austin, the dude that works with me at Fox, is like, Austin. yeah. Oh, he said to say hi actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love <laughs> yeah he was like, no, today's not fun for them. And we we're like, yeah, but surely there's a bit of fun. Nope. No. Oh. <laughs> so, so why are we turning up? We're just going to like put them off of work. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, we turned up and they were just doing so many laps, like all the time. I was just like, geez. Like, I know that when we, when I go riding, like, I don't know, it's always fun, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't, we do training and testing, obviously, but that's usually when we go on, on like team trips. And I know a lot more people are maybe a bit more professional than I am. But when it comes to riding my bike, I love to keep it fun. And like, I like going fast. So I know I'm going to try and push myself every time. That's not the issue. The issue for me isn't going fast. Like if anything, it's like, I don't know, maybe like something stupid, like breaking points. And like, that's yeah. what I would need to like work on. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I just couldn't, I was like, I, I wouldn't be able to do this for a job. That's just too much for me. Like, I'm, and then we were like, as mountain bikers on the way back home we're just like pretty, like, <laughs> we got a pretty good. <laughs> yeah see i stick to my my little salary and my, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. my uh, yeah eight races a year yeah well those guys <laughs> i mean they go onto the track the the difference is is that for you guys it's not really an endurance sport no and i feel like you can get fit obviously you guys train outside of the the runs yeah. But it's like you can get fit enough to do your job by doing your job, in a sense. Yeah, definitely. And, I, and then I just don't think the result these days is as based on fitness as what it used to be, maybe. Like, I yeah. just feel like everyone's crazy fit and everyone can almost hold their breath for four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it, like you know. when you compare Luke Bruni and, and Jackson, Goldstone, it's like the build is like, that's the difference as well. Like, the, the difference in builds in, in mountain bike and there's no like perfect yeah. in inverted commas like body or shape or form or bike or like everyone's within milliseconds of each other and like the the difference in styles obviously I mention them a lot but Loic and Jackson are like two of the best racers at the moment and they're like opposite sides it's crazy Loic is like super strong straight line plow through and Jackson is like super light, yeah. playing with the track and like, yeah, opening wide lines and like, but just as fast. And they come down there in the same second, like on completely different components. Yeah. You know, we've not got the same engine in our bikes. Like it's not, you know, it's it's down to, I sometimes blows my mind. If I think about it too much, it stresses me out. I'm like, <laughs> how can all of us be so close when there's hundreds of different combinations of bikes and kit and bodies and <laughs> I just lines didn't, yeah like everything eh? it's crazy it is it is cool like and i think that's one of the fun things about watching downhill is that you either it's either super close which is crazy exciting or it's a mega blowout yeah which never happens it doesn't happen and that's anymore. crazy yeah. exciting you know but yeah you're so right like there's literally an infinite number of ways you can skin a cat crazy everyone's downhill. welcome and, it, just, and it always gets skinned <laughs> yeah <laughs> like someone cool. always finds or, or like they're so close to the limit and everyone it's like crazy. They, it's yeah. like there is a limit and everyone's really close to it or like someone will look so poised and like in control and look like they're not going over their limit at all so who comes to mind is like loris Vergier, mm. and then you compare that with someone like Amory Pierron or Benoit Coulange and they're just off the back of the rig like and they're the fun people to watch like I know it's like sounds bad but you they're the people you want to watch on telly because it looks like they're, they're about, about to, to the have a huge yeah because <laughs> yeah. just like it, when I'm watching I can't watch it I'm just like oh my god he's gonna die and then like they get to the bottom they're like yeah pretty tame run <laughs> what <laughs> but, excuse me <laughs> yeah. wasn't tame for me yeah. how gonna be tame for you <laughs> but yeah it's crazy the differences and it's it's really cool that's why I love our sport so much yeah I mean and and the like I've said it before, but just the level now is so gnarly. Like I remember watching, uh, 
I remember watching the Flying Scotsman, the one that the sleeper, Reese Wilson? The, yeah, the sleeper yeah. co did on on Reese, and just thinking like when you, because that was kind of him put in context, you know, and he he he's so great at like vocalizing things, and he's like very yeah. articulate. And when you when you watch some of those runs and you see some of that footage, and he was one of the fast, you know, he was one of the fastest guys in the world mm-hmm. that season, and it's just like the risk that they're taking yeah. and the like the edge that they're riding and then if you've ever rode downhill and you kind of have any kind of gauge of what is going on you're just like how yeah. like how are it's you guys a doing this really really fine line and like that's something i struggled with this year finding again is it's just like it's either too much or too little, you know, and that line is very close to being too much a lot of the time. Yeah. <laughs> and like I did this year, I crashed so many times in my race runs just because it was kind of taking that whole year off kind of made it hard for me to remember what it was like to be on the edge in a way. Like yeah. I've just been in my comfort zone for so long because I needed to to heal that when I was pushing a little bit, I just like exploded in a way. <laughs> that it, it would be so hard to come back from that and have a year off and f- be forced to go so fast. Like, yeah, it was straight in. It was pretty hectic. Oh, I don't man. think I realized until I was like back in and I was like, shit, especially Lenza Hyde in Switzerland, the first race back of the season. It's like the fastest track we have all year. So in a way I was like, cool, at least I can get, get it out, out of the way. way. But, oh, and then like, you know, Amory broke his neck and, like, I'm still struggling massively mentally, like, to get past. Like, this was just another hurdle. I wasn't, like, fully ready yet and it was just hectic. And it was the first race with a new format and, like, just felt like a zoo there, honestly. It was just, like, <laughs> so much stuff happening at once. It's like, this is hectic. And then, yeah, you have to go as fast as possible. But again, I was, like, kind of, like, my season was good because, in a way, I could, like, slowly chip away again. Like I felt, I didn't feel like I had to like go in and go as fast as possible and and win because that's yeah. not what I was there for. We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, GypsyTales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang, and as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125 Gypsy Gang.